I really didn't expect that it would be Anton who ends up going to the capital. I thought it would be you. Looks like you'll have to wait another year. Oh, my little Renata. Have I ever told you that fable? It's a known fact that some wolves disguise themselves in sheep's clothing. First, they gain the herd's trust. They then use all kinds of excuses to take a sheep away. And this way, one by one, they manage to devour the entire herd. You mean, Derek der Herzog is a bad man? But... What do you think? I better stop here. I suppose this is not a good story to tell on Christmas Eve. I was planning on giving you your Christmas gift tonight, but I don't think it's a good idea to unwrap it in anyone else's presence. I'm gonna go get some sleep. At the end of the millennium, Satan shall be released from his prison. Nations shall then fall in total disarray. Gog and Magog shall be summoned to wars, where their numbers are as sands by the sea.
Come with me. I want to show you something you'll find very interesting. Consider this my Christmas gift to you. Do not refuse or question me. I don't have to explain myself, and I will not accept a refusal from you. Please enjoy the lovely performance. It was arranged especially for you. Behold, the downfall of a god. Faced with the human hybrid armies and the four overlords that had gone renegade, even the supreme Nidhogg could not escape his grim fate. This marks the end of the dragon's reign. Humans became rulers of the world, and their vengeance quickly spread to the four overlords and the dragon survivors. The latter were forced into hiding fell into a deep slumber. There, they awaited the summoning of a new king. But what people don't know is that while dragon blood in high concentrations is indeed lethal, when it is diluted, it becomes the best catalyst for species evolution. 